Hi everyone, this is Ashley with Marsh Flower Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I make these little gummy bears. So it's a pretty easy pattern to follow. Um, if you haven't done a puff stitch or a bobble stitch before, those can be a little bit of a learning curve, but that's not too bad. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you hit like if you like these little gummy bears and subscribe so you can see future videos as they come out. And don't forget to check out past videos as well. So I've already got my cherry gummy bear here. So I'm gonna set that one to the side. We'll set him up. I'm gonna make a lemon <laughs> or pineapple maybe uh, gummy bear next. And to start with, we're gonna do our magic circle with six single crochets. And I am using my four millimeter hook because this is one of the keychain size pieces. And we are starting from the bottom of the bear, just in case you want to do a color change um, or anything like that. So we're doing his butt first, okay? Uh, next, we're going to have our six increases, so we'll end up with a total of 12 stitches at the end of this row. So there's one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve. And then we're going to have our increase and single crochet row to get us out to 18. So that's four and five, and then six, seven and eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then there's 15, 16, 17, and then 18. And we'll pull our magic circle nice and tight so that's all closed up. Next is one of our rows where we're going to do some of the bobbles. So we're creating his little feet in this row. So we're going to do two single crochets and an increase. And then two single crochets and an increase. And then we're going to do our first bobble. So we're going to do six times where you're creating a double crochet, but we're not going to finish it. Okay, so we're going to leave those last two loops on. So we're going to yarn over, go through that same hole, pull up a loop. So you've got your two and just pull through two. Okay, so there's two of them, there's three, there's four, five, and six. So when you've done all six, you will have seven loops on your hook, okay? So then we're going to yarn over, pull through all seven, and then I always do a little chain to kind of close that up. Okay, some people don't do that, I do. And in our next row, I'm going to explain something uh, working with this bobble stitch that will also help. And I know that can get a little tight there. We just push through. All right, so next we're going to do a single crochet. Make sure you get that nice and tight so that you don't end up with a big gap. Okay, so a single crochet and then an increase, single crochet, and then another bobble stitch. So yarn over, go through, pull up. 
you've got three loops you're only going to pull through two and then you're going to do that five more times so there's two three four five and six and then we'll pull through all seven and do that little chain all right next we're gonna have an increase right here by that foot and then we're gonna have two single crochets and an increase two single crochets and an increase all right so we've got his two feet and we're actually I leave them kind of like this for a few minutes because um, if you try to go ahead and push them through to the outside they for me anyway tend to get in the way so for this row I'm going to do a single crochet and a decrease. I'm actually going to use a little stitch marker. And then we're going to do two single crochets and a decrease. And we're going to finish our row all the way around like that. And with our bobble stitch, so I'm in the stitch that I did right before my bobble for this long stitch here that's actually the side and then this is that little chain that I put to close in that top so you need to pick one or the other to use as your stitch don't use both okay you'll end up with too many stitches for the count row so pick one or the other. I usually go for the smaller one of the two to use as my actual stitch. And then I can help kind of close up this space where this other one's a little long. So I had one single crochet. That's a little tight. There's my second. And then I'll do another decrease. And then two single crochets. And then we're going to do another decrease. So again, you have your longer stitch and then that little chain. If you did the same thing I did, so you got to pick one or the other, not both. So I'm doing a decrease on this one. So I'm going to use the smaller of the two and do my decrease. And then one, two, and decrease. One, two, and decrease and then our last one okay so now I'll take that stitch marker out I'm going to take these little feet and I'm going to push them through so that they are on the outside of our little gummy bear here All right, so for our next row, we're gonna have 18 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. All right, so in this row, we're going to create our arms. Okay, so we're going to have six. I'm going to pop my stitch marker back in here to make sure that I've got this count right. So one, two, three, four, whoops, five, six, and then we're going to do our bobble stitch. Let's make that seven single crochets and then our bobble. Sometimes it depends on your yarn and your hook size. Sometimes it depends on your tension, but you can always kind of slide some of these things one stitch one way or the other and make sure they line up where you want them to go. So on the red one, I only had six single crochets before I did that bobble. On the yellow, I have seven, and then I did the bobble. So as long as you still have the same number of stitches at the end of the row, if you need to kind of slide one here or there, it's okay. All right, so I did my close up here. I'm gonna have two single crochets in between my little arms, and then we'll do our other bobble. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And also, if you want to do just five of those um, kind of double crochets for your bobble, so it's not quite as tight or hard to do them, you can. It's just going to make them not quite as poofy sticking out the front there. All right, so then we will single crochet back to our starting point, which should be seven single crochets. Yep. Okay. So we have the lower part of our body. In our next row, we're going to do... Boop. Uh, a decrease down to 12. So we're going to have a single crochet and a decrease. That's two, three, four, five, decrease on four, five. And again, you've got two stitches here. So you got to pick one or the other. All right. I lost my count. All right, we're on six. So I'm gonna do six as my decrease, and then seven. Again, pick one or the other. Eight is a decrease, and then nine, ten as a decrease, and then eleven, and twelve as a decrease. Okay, in our next row, we're going to actually increase back out to eighteen. So I'm going to have 
one and two and three four and five six seven and eight nine ten and eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen oops fifteen sixteen and seventeen and eighteen Okay, so for our next row, we are creating the snout kind of area, this little bobble right here. So we're going to do about nine. One, two, um, about nine single crochets. And again, depending on your yarn, your hook, your tension, all that kind of stuff, you may want to slide your snout one stitch one way or the other, just to make sure that it lines up with your arms and your legs. Okay. So it's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. For this one, I'm actually going to do ten so that my snout lines up right here in between where this uh, increases that I have. So then I'll do my bobble. Three, four, five, and six. Close that in, and then we'll just single crochet to close. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. So as long as you kind of even out um, your number of stitches, so using a stitch marker just in case, make sure that you're lining up your nose with your, or your snout with your arms and legs. You can move it a stitch or two one way or the other to make sure that you're good, okay? So then for our next row, we're just going to have 18 single crochets, and then we'll do the ears and be done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, whoops, ten. And remember, we've got two up here, so I'm going to skip one of those. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, and 18. Okay. All right, for our next row, and this is going to be another one where we kind of need to make sure that our bobbles are in the right place um, so that it lines up with everything else. So I'm going to do a decrease first. 
And I'm going to put my stitch marker there. I'm going to have a single crochet and then another decrease. And then I'm going to do another single crochet. Actually, let's make that two single crochets. This is different from my red one where I started and stopped for my bobbles. So I want my ear bobble to be about three stitches over from my snout. So I'm going to do my bobble here. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Close that up. Then we'll do one and decrease. Single crochet and decrease. And then we'll do our next ear. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Pull through all of those. And then we're going to have a decrease and a single. And I know that was probably a little confusing and I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> um, but like I said, it's it's one of those kinds of patterns where your individual um, crocheting technique, the size of your yarn, the size of your hook, may change where you need to put those bobble stitches so that they are in the right place for your gummy bear. Okay, so after that, we are going to stuff our gummy bear. And then we'll do six decreases to close up the top of his little head. We'll sew it shut and he will be all done. I don't need quite that much. All right. And again, because you're working into bobble stitches. Just make sure you pick one or the other of those top two stitches for your bobble to use and just ignore the other one. Sometimes working on stuff that's a little smaller can be hard to really get your hook around into. I find especially when I'm doing some of these smaller projects, I tend to work even tighter than I do just normally. So I'll do a little slip stitch here to end. We'll cut our yarn off. 
I just need enough of a tail to sew the top shut. And then I always like to kind of tie my starter string uh, with my, my ending string and a little square knot and pull them down through. Makes them feel a little bit more secure for me. Tie this off. And go right back down through that center and out the back. So there's our little, we'll say, lemon and cherry gummy bears. So I hope that wasn't too bad for you. Um, the hardest thing is just knowing that you may have to move a bobble stitch over one or two. Uh, just to make sure that it lines up where you want them to but for the most part it's pretty easy um, remember to hit that like button give these little gummy bears a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already um, so you can see all of the future videos pop up um, and make sure you check out the older videos for some pretty cool things to make as well. If you have comments, suggestions, anything you would like for me to try and make, um, let me know and I'll work on those. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!